he is highly sensitive but his sensitivity is selective where it affects him i will give you illustration examples right so generally they pose as the question have you read the book and when we say no they have a big laugh they have a big laugh now for a change you should ask them have you read the book sir he says no and you are armed with this booklet of mine you just memorize some of these statements verses and you quote him he says you know sir the first page of satanic salman satanic verses first page chapter 1 page 1 he says the direct quotation i'm giving you direct quotation from the book page 1 don't go far start with page 1 you have been going too far you know so you're going to page 268 and 200 300 don't go that far start with page 1 if you have been reading you can start with page 1 even before page when you can start with this his prologue his prophecy about his own destruction not a place to rest his foot upon no place for him no peace that's what he say his prophesying somebody is making him to write so look this is your end this is your destiny that's the first page really but he doesn't remember it so we take chapter 1 the that page first page he says proper london this place here london i mean london a proper london bhai here we come those bastards down there won't know what hit them with bastards londoners the londoners are bastards whether you are pakistani londoners or sikh londoners or english londoners what londoners are you if you are a londoner you are a bastard and the things are coming down to destroy you direct quotation now how he does he feel he said look he's calling us all bastards you accept that if it came from you as a pakistani or as an arab the guy will punch you on the jaw you know that but this is a son in law he married your daughter sister your daughter a british girl so you have to take it from him no you see we people from the east we we seem to respect our son in laws our brother in laws more than our own children You know that because he is my son-in-law, my daughter's happiness is at stake. He is my brother-in-law, my sister's. This is this is our mentality. Is that the English mentality too? I don't know, but he, they have a, some special feeling towards this satan, satanic Salman. So he starts with bastard, very mild. But I said, wait a little till he gets warmed up. Let him get warmed up. That's first page that was. he uses on that first page 16 hindi words 1616 for which he gives you no meaning and you lap it up i'm talking about the english now the hindi maybe some hindi do the other young people what will they understand yaar bhai huh? what will you understand what is he talking about Katam tum, no, no. <laughs> if you read it to you, it's, it's, you can't imagine. You can't imagine anybody taking this book up, paying fifteen pounds. The fool, he pays fifteen pounds for this book, and he reads this. I read the first paragraph. See what you make of it. To be born again, sang Jibril Farishta, tumbling from the heavens. First, you have to die. ho ji ho ji ho ji ho ji the english one understand what is saying ho ji ho ji <laughs> to land upon the bosomi earth first one needs to fly ta 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 ka tum the english one laps it up very nice very nice but indian spice Still, the paragraph is not finished. How to ever smile again? If first you won't cry. How to win the darling's love? 
Mr. Without a Sigh. Baba, if you want to get born again, just before dawn, once winter's morning, New Year's Day, or thereabouts, two real, full-grown, living men fell from a great height, 29,002 feet, towards the English Channel, without benefit of parachutes or wings out of a clear sky. And this is a masterpiece of the English language. Hmm? Yes, for which gets a Booker Award. He gets a book of award for that. And he carries on 16 words. And by the time I finish it, I said, you know this guy here, he spattered the whole book. Over 100 different exotic Indian words. And the choices of the language from the gutters of Bombay, or the sewers, sewers, you know? Sewer pipes from the sewers of Bombay. Page 80. He says, hijras, chutias, shits. The Englishman, I want to know what is he lapping up? He's telling the guy, hijras, chutia, shits. No, do you understand shits? So he senses the other thing must be also something. <laughs> what does he know what he's reading? And these poor fools, the French will translate that into French with hijras, chutia, shits. And the German will hijras, chutia, shits. And our Jewish brother and cousins in Palestine, in Israel, they, in Hebrew, they will write, in Hebrew, they'll say, they'll write hijras to their shits. Shits, of course, they have the word for it. What are they doing? This guy has made a monkey out of everybody. Look, he's a mighty genius. He's our own. We produced him. <laughs> but the British cultivated him. He is the, they are the, his godfathers, godfathers, protectors. You know, I can't even translate this. I can translate it, I know the meaning. Bulk of you think you know the meaning. You really don't know the meaning of what he's saying. Very few, very rare. What he's getting away with. We should ask the Penguin publishers, Sir, do you know what he's saying? You haven't translated, he hasn't given you a glossary at the end of the book to tell you this word means that this, nothing. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He's getting away with murder. But nobody showed it to our, our fellow countrymen. So look, this guy is making a monkey out of you, sir. Look what he's doing to you. <laughs> you must ask, did Josephine Pauline Thompson of the General Secretary of the PEN, you know, this society of all these essays and editors and ed writers and playwrights and all that kind of thing, they have a society called PEN, acronym for all these things. Michael Foote and the Booker Prize Committee. Ask them, what is this? For which you paid this guy $800,000 or pounds, I don't know whether it's dollar or whether it's 800000 all right. As advance money. He said, this shit, don't give another printer. We will have this, we will eat this. That's what they did. Advance money. Say, look, this is for us. Reserve it for us. He's made monkeys out of everybody. And he got money in the process. <laughs> He's our product. He's a mighty genius. Now, if you say that the British are insensitive, I say, no, you're wrong. They're not insensitive. I'm reading in my country, call for ban. In our local newspaper, it speak, it's a dateline from London. The news comes from London into our newspaper there. Call for ban, banning a person. Furious British MPs, I'm reading. You will find this on page 9 in your book. Don't take it out now. Leave it now. Leave it now. Furious British MPs have called for American actor Mickey Rourke, Mickey Rourke, R O U R K, Rourke, to be banned from Britain. Harry Greenway, Conservative MP for Ealing North, said, I hope the British government will never allow this man to set foot on our shores. <laughs>